so uh, I I was experimenting with my G code and thing that I noticed is that when I machine at 4000 RPM that uh, motor accelerates it seems to me I didn't measure because I didn't bring with me stopwatch so it seems to me that motor accelerates to 4000 RPM significantly slower than for example when it accelerates for on a 3000 RPM of course of course normal is to take little bit more time to accelerate to 4000 RPM than to 3000 RPM but difference about 1000 RPM it was so big so I went to read manual for what, for what is which parameter and parameter 10 is for setting acceleration time so parameter 10 acceleration time and I had acceleration time set on 1.8 seconds and deceleration time on 1.9 seconds and so logically was if you set acceleration time to be 0 0.5 seconds in, in intuitive thinking is motor will accelerate faster but that didn't happen I don't know why so I went to check what will happen if I for example change acceleration time to be instead of 1.8 seconds to be 5 seconds and I was surprised it seems like mo motor accelerates much fast much faster than when I had 1.8 seconds so now I will show I will show so when I choose S4000 we will see how much it needs to accelerate with 1.8 seconds so spindle and now I'm on 4000 rpm so I will an analyze uh, I will analyze video duration and I will see how much it takes with so this is parameter number 10 and now is acceleration time 0 0.5 seconds so originally I had one point point eight seconds and I went to test what will happen so let's try one more time so acceleration time is 0 0.5 seconds and when I press spindle I need to wait to see how how I how much I need to wait until I reach 4000 rpm so let's see This is 4000 RPM. One more time. So. I will go and set this to be 5 seconds 5 seconds ok 
Okay. And also, also, as I use this motion controller, this need to be set. I had I have it on 3000 RPM, and before that I had 1000. But that was before one year, and I learned that you need to pay attention to set this to be high value. So today I changed from 3000 RPM per second on 7000 RPM per second. So just to show that, I will not, I will not change that. So okay, close and. S4000 Ok And So now acceleration time is 5 seconds instead of 0 0.5 seconds And let's see what will happen So it seems to me like it accelerates much faster than with 0 0.5 seconds. I know for complete spindle with, I don't know, power chuck, chuck and everything, what is inside is probably 10 kilos of mass. So realistically it's impossible to accelerate to full RPM in 0 0.5 seconds, but it's interesting that when I set in VFD parameter to be instead of 0 0.5 to be 5 seconds that accel it accelerates faster, so let's so. So, really, really interesting discovery. Enter, let's say, let's say, two seconds, what will, it will also accelerate slow. Or 1.8, as it was when I start to use machine today. Okay. Okay, okay. So spindle I'm aiming for 4000 RPM. So with, with 1.8 seconds spindle motor accelerates spindle slower than with 5 seconds. So, <coughs> so I will set this to be 5 seconds until I bring stopwatch so I can precisely determine which parameter is the best really I don't know interesting discovery thing is that motor accelerates from 0 to 3000 rpm relatively normally but when I want to machine something with 4000 rpm Thing, thing that I didn't didn't like is to, to I I needed to wait too much to spindle get to 4000 RPM and it was some something strange so this is why I went to try to to change parameters or maybe I 
didn't see every parameter because you have you have approximately 147 parameters so if I knew every parameter for what it serves I would be doctor for VFDs so probably every parameter is useful for something but for for starting stopping and adjusting acceleration of your late you probably do not need to know every single parameter what does what what it does so so this first 10 parameters are basic basic and rest of them are also important but when you start to power your motor you will see that you do not need to touch every parameter so so for now I will leave this parameter 10 to be 5 seconds and like I said I will make some tests to see which is the opti optimum optimum optimal for 4000 rpm so I want the fastest fastest acceleration to 4000 rpm that I can get from 1.5 kilowatt motor so this is small update for now